Hi there! In this video we'll be talking about CC libraries in InDesign, so let's get started. Since Creative Cloud Libraries let you gather design elements for specific projects, clients or teams for use within any of your Creative Cloud apps, it helps to ensure that you and your team access the same elements for a project throughout its lifecycle. Also, if you don't have the Adobe Cloud subscription, you might not be able to use the library. I already have the Libraries panel showing here, so if you can't see yours, go to Window and you'll find it sitting there. To create a new library, either you can click the Create New Library button that's showing on the Libraries panel, or click the Burger menu and select Create New Library option from there. Let's rename our library to Adobe InDesign Tutorial and hit Create and our library is ready. Let's select the Rectangle tool and make a rectangle and then I'm going to click the color to reveal the color picker and change the color to something else and then hit OK. Now let's say this is the color approved by the client and something I'll be using not just in InDesign but also in other Adobe applications. So the best way to access it is to add it to the library. So with the rectangle selected, click the small plus button at the bottom of the library panel and it will give you the option to add either the color or the graphic, which is the rectangle. And then there is a third option to add all. So let's click add all and you could see it adds both the color and the graphics separately. Now let's add a text box and fill it with some placeholder text. Let's shed some text and change the font to Xylem. Let's also increase the font size to 24 points. Lastly, change the font color to red. Now I'm going to go to Window and then Styles and select Paragraph Styles. Once the panel is up, let's click the small plus button at the bottom of the Paragraph Styles panel to add a new Paragraph Style. Let's rename the new style Heading. To add the new Paragraph Style to the library, you can either click the button at the bottom left corner of the Paragraph Styles panel that says Add Selected Style to my current CC library if you hover your mouse over it. Or you can use the same plus button at the bottom of the CC Libraries panel we used to add the color earlier. I'm going to use the one at the bottom of the Paragraph Styles panel and it will instantly be copied to my CC library. Now the best part is that I can use all the elements I added to the library on any of my Adobe applications. So let's go to Adobe Illustrator, grab the text tool and click to add text. Let's type in something. And with the text selected, the moment you click the style from the CC library, it will be applied to our text on Illustrator. So you see how well it collaborates with other Adobe applications. Now let's get back to InDesign. You have two options to view the content in the library. At this point, the grid view is selected. Let's change it to the list view and it shall look something like this. The search bar also has three different options to pick from, so if you click the small arrow, it will populate the options. It's a useful option if you have multiple libraries made, and if you're looking for a particular element, you can just have all libraries selected and search your element. Similarly, you can select the current library if you're looking for an element in the current library, and the search will be restricted to just the current library. Let's select all libraries and type in heading. And since we just have one element saved in that name, it populates that here. You can also select the Adobe Stock option and search directly from the Adobe Stock website without leaving the application. So let's type nature. And you can find various images the site has to offer against the term nature. Click the plus button at the top left corner of the image to save a preview in your library or to purchase the image, click the card at the top left corner. I'm going to click the plus button to save a preview to my library. When I double click the image, it opens within the library in a slightly larger dimensions. To edit it further, click the small pen icon on the top left corner of the image and it shall open in Photoshop. You can see that the image has a watermark. That's because I haven't purchased the image. Once you purchase the image, the watermark is removed automatically. Let's get back to InDesign now. 
To remove the image from the library, just select it and hit the trash icon at the bottom right corner of the library panel and the image will be gone. Alternatively, you can also right click the image and from the drop down select the delete option. If you click the burger menu, you'll find two options that are similar but are used for different purposes. The first one is the get link option. It generates a link that you can copy and share with your clients to perhaps approve the color or for any other purpose. And using this link, your client can open the library on a web page and it shall look something like this, which means the client can only view the library but cannot make any amendments whatsoever. However, if you go back to the burger menu and select the second option, which is invite people, it will give you an option to share the library using the email address with your colleagues or team or people you can give edit privilege to. And they can then amend the library or work on it as they feel like. Of course, you can always choose to not give them the edit privilege and restrict it to just view privilege should you want to. You can always rename your CC library or delete it using the options under the burger menu and the library will be a goner. All right, guys, that concludes our session and I'm going to see you in the next one in just a bit. Goodbye.